What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum and I've got another mail day for you today. This time it is three total packages. This went well, an envelope and two packages here. This one has an eBay lot in it that I think has a major steal, but I'm gonna want your input on that. I, I, I think it does based off the little tiny amount of data that I have, it does, uh, but we'll see, it's hard to tell. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in here. First one, this was a plain white envelope. Um, very cheap one. I think I got this for like $7 shipped. And uh, this is one we'll have to take out of the top loader to really get a good look at it because this is a, a great looking card. Um, it is a Topps Gallery of Heroes. Ooh, that's... Um, I don't know if that... I don't think they're normally indented like that, though, so that might be an issue. I'll have to look at my Elton brand, but that one looks like it got bent in the mail. Um, I don't know, not showing on this side. I'll, have to, I'll look at my Elton brand, and I'll decide, but no, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think we got another casualty of the, uh, of the plain white envelope mailer. Uh, it happens from time to time, though, so it is what it is. I might just keep that... For the PC anyway. It, it looks nice in a binder. Doesn't look nice in that top loader though. So we'll deal with that later. Okay next up. This is I believe. This is what I think it is. It's from the 50s. Um, no protection whatsoever in that bubble mailer. A little concerning. Not even a sleeve on that slab. But it showed up alright. Looks pretty clean. Um... Maybe some scratches on that slab. Not sure what's going on on that. Looks like the, maybe on the card itself. Okay, so this is a 1951 Wheaties George Mikan. It's got that authentic grade. Um, I didn't realize on the the listing itself. I don't. I thought this might be on the slab when I looked at it. Um, it might something's on the this card. Of course, it's an old piece of a, a Wheaties box. I'm pretty sure. So um, I don't see the 51s all that often. I think I got this for like 37 shipped, maybe. I think it was $30 plus the shipping and the tax. So um, you don't see these all that often. You see the 1952s a lot, which there was a headshot version and an action version in the 1952. Headshot has, I'm pretty sure it's the same picture as the 1951. But um, I've been picking Mike and stuff up. I'm really digging... This deep dive I've, I've been doing on George Mikan. I don't have the 48 rookie, but uh, you know what? I'm going to try to have pretty much all the other older stuff. I don't care about all the prison parallels or everything like that, but um, didn't have a 51 Mikan. That still presents pretty well. I'm happy with that purchase. I like that card. Okay. Last one here. Well, it's really a lot. Um, I don't remember. I think this is a 20 card lot. Somewhere in that range. I got it for $20. And, or $21.60 or something like that. Um, so let's go through these. There's one card. It's it's going to be the last one. Um, it was actually on the front of this stack, so I'm not going to show you yet. But I think that one of these cards was a major steal. And uh, I'm going to have you guys weigh in to see if you agree with me or not. Okay, so let's get this tape off. Might not get it off this back one here. Okay, so we got it, and it wasn't this Kendrick Perkins rookie, but Kendrick Perkins rookie, number 2000. A lot of this will go in my, probably my dollar box inventory. Uh, this is not a for sale post. I'm just showing you some of the stuff I buy and some of the stuff I get in. Uh, Jason Collins rookie, numbered rookie. Another Kendrick Perkins numbered rookie. A Josh Boone, this is the... Uh, credentials, autographs, but uh, credential style, I guess. I don't know if these were technically called credentials because they're numbered to 899. Good looking card, though. Uh, we got a Kevin Garnett. A Chris Middleton, that's a rookie from 2012. Um, I was wondering if that is... No, that's not a parallel. I think that's just the base rookie. Uh, we got a Kareem Rush numbered rookie. So nothing like super amazing in this stack here yet. Josh McRoberts numbered rookie. 
We've got uh, Jameson Curry, numbered rookie. We got an Aaron Brooks, numbered rookie. Right, yawn. Um, this is a Victor. Not even gonna try that last name. Um, I don't. E I, I mean, I remember the cards of him. I don't ever remember him playing. I'd have to look on Basketball Reference to see if he actually got time or if he was. He's from the Ukraine. Maybe he was one of those players that people just kind of uh, teams did a lot of drafting and stashing back then. Um, Kwame Brown, numbered rookie. Azarko, pristine numbered rookie. We've got a Damone Brown, numbered rookie. So a lot of numbered rookies in this lot here, and, and not low numbered either. Like this one's numbered to 1,500. Uh, Kyle Singler, numbered to 599. I don't even remember this guy. I know my friend Steve, NJ Nets collector, is going to be upset. Uh, that I don't remember him. Jamal McGlure, numbered rookie. Joel Prisbilla, numbered rookie. Uh, Draymond Green, rookie. Just the base rookie. Kendrick Perkins, this is the first edition. But not those were not numbered that year. Some years they were. I know 2007 they were. Okay, this is the card that I think is a steal. And it's the whole reason I bought this lot. Because honest, I don't care about that stuff. Um... The only comp I can find for this card is from 2012, and it's for, I think it was like $117. Um, and you're going to look at this and think, what? Shane Heal. All right, so Shane Heal, um, from what I remember, was an Australian player. Doesn't have, oh yeah, and it even talks about how he was in the NBL, right? Doesn't have a lot of rare stuff. And I wouldn't even say this card is like super rare, but um, it is one of his more difficult to find cards. He probably also has an ultra platinum medallion, which those would be supposedly out of 250. Um, so these rubies, they're not super hard to find. I mean, you do see them, but for whatever reason, he hasn't had one that's listed on the, I, I tried several variations of the name, hasn't had one listed and sold since 2012. So this will probably become a, uh, oops, almost dropped it there, become a Com C card for me. Um, $117 in 2012 was a lot of money for a card. So I, I, and I don't think it will go for, I'm not even implying it'll go for more than that now. I just think it's interesting that it went for that much back then. So I'm curious to know, uh, do I have a major steal on my hands? Uh, what do you guys think this is worth? Let me know in the comments. Uh, why don't you go ahead and like the video while you're at it? And there you have it. Um, I try to show you lots whenever I pick them up. People say they like seeing the lots. So um, haven't had great luck with lots lately, but I thought this was a good one. So anyway, there you have it. Remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>